हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 18 ऑफ एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज फ्रॉम बॉडी एंड फ्रॉम यू आर आई एट्रीब्यूट्स सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 17 ऑफ माय एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई दैट इज व्हाट इज पैरामीटर बाइंडिंग इन एस पी डॉट नेट वेब ए पी आई सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस फ्यू पॉइंट्स दैट इज व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्रॉम बॉडी एंड फ्रॉम यू आर आई एट्रीब्यूट्स and what are the uses of from body and from uri attributes so guys here i'll go to my visual studio uh, and uh, i'll take the example of this uh, http put method so this this method has two parameters one is int id and another one is employee date uh, employee parameter so int id is by default a pro from uri query string and uh, from body it is employee date so based on id we will update the employee details so int id is a request query string we can access int id parameter so that using fiddler whenever we uh, update any records we will pass a uh, employee id in this request query string right and this is the request body so you will will mention here the int id and the request body that is employee details will mention here in request body i already have described these things in my previous video that is parameter binding so what i'll do here is uh i need to uh make some changes in the parameter parameter fields so that we will discuss more about what is from body and from uri attributes so uh, guys in my previous video we already have uh, discussed about the parameter binding process so this is the default parameter binding right the, whatever parameter you can see this is the default parameter binding that is the int id we need to mention in request uri and employee details we need to mention here in request body but we need to change the default behavior of parameter binding right this is not the fixed uh, parameter binding we can uh, change the default parameter binding process using from body and from uri attributes so what i will do here is i need to make some changes so before that i need to stop my debugging so what i'll do i already have mentioned this so i need to mention here you can see uh, earlier we have from body attribute for employee details but i need to change here to from uri attribute of employee details right and uh, okay we do something uh, copy only the this attribute from uri attribute here okay and after doing this that means these two parameters we can uh, uh, put in inside the query string that is the request uri there is no from body right so after doing these changes what i'll do is i need to build my solution and run my application here so guys here what i'll do map to employee API employee and we need to check the details of ID one. So guys, here you can see we can see the employee details whose ID is one, first name is Satya two, last name is Prakash two, gender is male, and salary is forty seven thousand. So I'll open my uh, Fiddler and I select here put method and inside query string we need to mention something uh, here. that is uh, this is the format of we need to mention the query string inside the request uri because we have two parameters uh, using from uri attributes so that will mention your everything in in the query in the request uri that is nothing but the query string parameter right so uh, what i'll do is you can see i have included everything in the request uri including id equal to 1 and first name last name gender and salary because inside the 
method we have mentioned the for from we have uh, uh, mentioned the employee parameter using from URI attribute and by default int id is a, a parameter which we can put inside the request URI so uh, here we need to update it right before that I need to do some changes uh, mentioned here as uh, Satya Prakash okay and uh, here mention here as last name Samantrai gender is male and salary we need to mention here 12,000 right uh, okay first name and uh, okay here I have for I missed some uh, components and parameter so this is mandatory so this is the format we need to mention here request query string so ID equal to one and first name equal to Satya Prakash last name equal to samantrai gender equal to male salary equal to 12000 right and inside we need to mention here content type hyphen content hyphen type colon application forward class json right and uh, inside request body we don't need to mention a a anything because we don't have from body attribute so we'll check here and execute this one So I think my employee details is updated. So I check here. So you can see guys in JSON tab, we can see my employee details of ID is is updated. Also, we can check here is using our browser. So I just refresh it. So I can see employee ID of one first name is updated to Satya Prakash, last name is updated to Samantrai, gender is male and salary is updated to 12,000. Okay. Now that means my update is succeeded uh, what we, we have expected and here we'll do one more changes so before doing one more changes we just check here using our swagger So we'll expand this employee controller and put method. So guys here you can see in Swagger whenever you mention any uh, from your attribute of ID as well as other parameters. So this is the format we can see in our Swagger. So no need to manually put everything in the request URI uh, like in the Fiddler but Swagger by default uh, allows you to mention all the details using its a uh, UI no need to put in manually right so employee ID we need to mention here as uh, one and uh, employee ID equal to one first name I need to mention here uh, previously it was Satya Prakash so I'll need to mention a Satya Prakash one and uh, Samantrai one gender equal to male salary 13,000 I mentioned I will put here try it out so here guys you can see my update is successful right and uh, you can see we got the 200 response code so that is the way we can check in our in our swagger after doing some changes in our parameter of HTTP put method right and uh, so this is all about uh, how to check uh, parameter binding and uh, how to change the default behavior of parameter binding process using our from body and from URI. So as of now we have checked the from, from URI attribute and now we can check uh, both from body and from URI attribute. So before doing that I need to stop my debugging. So what I'll do here is uh, I need to mention here int id as a from body attribute right so uh, what I'll do here is for int id I'll, I have mentioned here as from body attribute right 
so that means we have decorated id parameter with from body attribute this forces web api to get it from the request body and second is we have decorated employee parameter with from uri attribute this forces web api to get employee data from the uri that is the route data or query stream right this is the difference between from body and from uri attribute so after doing these changes we need to build my solution and run my application here so guys here i will map to employee of whose id is one so you can see uh, last time we have updated my first name last name gender and salary so this time what i'll do is i open my uh, fiddler so as per our parameter type we we need to mention mention the employee details in pro in the request uri and in the id parameter we need to mention inside the from body so what i'll do is uh, i'll uh, remove that remove this int id equal to one because this this is uh, this id should be placed inside the request body and except that I will mention everything inside the request URI that is the first name, last name, gender and salary. So first name I will mention here Satyaprakash2, last name is Satyaprakash2, male and uh, salary we will mention here 14,000. Okay, we just updated here Satyaprakash2 to RAM and uh, here we will mention here Pradhan and first name is ram last name is pradhan gender male salary is 24000 all right and uh, content type application for us last json and uh, when here you we need to mention here id equal to one so that we'll just mention here one right and after doing these changes we'll execute our request So check our response here. So that means my employee details is updated. You can see for ID one. And uh, what I'll do is I need to check in my browser whose ID is one. So you can see ID one uh, for ID one. First name is updated to Ram. Last name Pradhan. Gender male and salary twenty four thousand. So we'll check the same using our Swagger. So I expand this employee controller, uh, click on that put method. So guys, here you can see, right, ID details, it has changes its uh, field, right? So this field is earlier, it was one single text box because it is a request URI string request for the request URI. But this, this time you can see ID parameter, it is source one, uh, multi-line text box that means it, it is for the request body because in our code we have configured our id parameter as a request body so we'll mention here id1 and employee id1 uh, we'll mention here ram1 to ram, ram to ram1 last name is uh, pradhan1 and gender is male and salary is uh, 34000 and click try it out so you can see guys uh, my id whose id is one as updated first name ram1 last name pradhan1 gender male and uh, salary 34000 and gone the response code 200 okay and then the request uri we, you can see that uh, this is the format right you can see request url right so after doing these changes uh, we need to check in our employee whose id equal to one
so you can see guys after doing the changes in our uh, swagger first name is updated to ram1 last name is pradhan1 gender male and salary 34000 so uh, here whatever changes we have made is the employee data is specified in the uri using query string parameter and the id is specified in the request body like we have mentioned here in our fiddler and for swagger by default it is a mac it's max max it's a own uh, ui so no need to mention manually like fiddler and it is user friendly uh, comparable with uh, to the fiddler so uh, after doing these changes uh, whatever request we have made the update succeeds as expected so that's all about uh, what is from body and from uri attribute and uh, we'll uh, check here uh, remaining in our uh, slide so difference between from body and from uri attribute so from uri attribute to instruct the web api to collect or get the value of complex type from the query string and from body attribute instruct the web api to collect or get the value of primitive type from the request body and what are the uses of from body and from uri attributes so we can change this default parameter binding process using from body and from uri attributes so this is my youtube channel subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on .NET technology and angular c sharp sql server devops and github so what we have learned today in this video what are the difference between from body and from uri attributes and what are the uses of from body and from uri attributes so that's it for today guys thank you for listening have a great day